Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson. And in this video, we are going to talk about the divine feminine energy that exists within each and every human being. And in this video, we are going to talk about the rise of the divine feminine that is taking place right now. So stay tuned. Divine feminine energy exists in each and every person, whether you are male or female, believe it or not. If you're watching this channel, you probably are already aware of the energies of creation that I am referring to. But in case you're not, you can look at the divine masculine and divine feminine as the yin and yang symbol. And within this symbol of black and white, you actually see that the masculine is within the feminine and the feminine is within the masculine. And without both, you wouldn't have the balance. As a quick explanation of these energies, the divine masculine energy is that energy within each of us that gives us inspiration to take action. It is that passionate fire that gets lit within us that causes us to take action on our desires. The divine feminine energy is that emotional receptive energy, that energy of darkness rather than of light. It is my opinion that the true divine feminine energies are completely misunderstood in this particular time. And even what we see as feminists out there are actually rather aggressive and literally trying to force their opinions on other people. Whereas the true feminine energy is compassionate and receptive. The true feminine energy is emotional and able to listen. So with all of the ways that humans are striving and constantly out here trying so hard to make their way or to let their beliefs be known or whatever the case may be, people are forgetting their divine feminine roots and the importance of actually being receptive to that part of themselves and how profound it really is. This video is sponsored by me and Tracy's Apothecary. Tracy's Apothecary is my new Etsy shop where I am selling essential oil and crystal blends that were intuitively selected by me and made with the highest intentions. All of the products at Tracy's Apothecary are also charged with Reiki by me before being sent off to you. If you would like to visit Tracy's Apothecary to support this channel, you can go to tracysapothecary.etsy.com and see all of the products that I have to offer there. I believe that by being human, we are embodying the divine feminine. 
Because as human beings, that human being part of ourselves is completely a part of mother nature, which is the feminine aspect of creation. So anything that was created through the womb of the mother or the receptive feminine energy, anything that is matter can actually be seen as something that is feminine and is therefore something that can be receptive. So I see the divine masculine part of us as that inner desire, that inner fire, the thoughts and inspiration, and more of the mental spiritual side of us. And so it is really just trying to bridge that gap in understanding of what the divine feminine really is. A couple of years ago, when I actually did a QHHT session, I ended up in this place that was very dark and no one else was around and I couldn't even see myself. I could only feel myself or understand that I was there. What do you see? Now it's more like just empty space. Okay. Are you on the ground or are you above the ground? Where are you at in relationship to this space? I am the space. That's interesting. Look down at yourself and see if you have a body. Do you see feet? No. No? Do you have a body? No. No? How can you describe yourself? What are you? Nothingness. Where are you at? Where is your consciousness at? In between. What would you be in between of? The physical and the non-physical. Ah, okay. So physical would be like what's on earth and material things? Mm -hmm. Where would the non-physical be? Deep within mind. Okay. So, would that be thought and consciousness again? Yes. I'm still in the place that doesn't have physicalness. Okay. It's energy and light. Okay. Do you see other energy and light around you that is not you but another being? No. So it's just you? Yes. Are you comfortable there by yourself or is it rather lonely? Comfortable. Okay. Why do you suppose you're there? What are you doing? Something that I want to experience, to understand. Upon reflecting on my time in that dark place, I began to realize that I was actually connecting with the divine feminine energy within me. I was connecting to that place of stillness, the womb of creation. And it is from that dark, comforting womb that you can then spring forth with new matter, which is a product of the divine feminine. So it's a product of having this physical body, this divine feminine part of ourself, this physical body can then be receptive to the divine masculine, which is the thought, which is the thought that wants to express, right? So it is through this receptive vehicle, this physical body of ours, um, this divine feminine 
that we can receive. And the thing that we are receiving is God and the divine masculine. So it, it's all connected and it's all, you know, like the yin yang. The light is in the dark and the dark is in the light. So without this physical body, without the divine feminine, the mother nature part of us, without this physical part of us, there would be no way for the divine masculine, the spark of God, to actually show forth and to experience this level of consciousness. In order to truly understand this divine feminine or the rise of the divine feminine energies on the planet right now, it will be important to take some steps or some actions here in the physical world, which is our womb of creation. So I've made a list of seven quick tips to help you in the rise of the divine feminine energy. My first quick tip in connecting with the divine feminine energy is to start a journaling practice if you don't already. Journaling is very important in really capturing the thoughts that you are perpetuating on a daily basis. And it also helps when you have something that you can look back on to see exactly how much your understanding and wisdom has grown over the years. So journaling is an awesome thing that you can do to help to increase your receptivity for your own thoughts, emotions, and intuitions. My second quick tip to connect with the divine feminine energy is to have a daily meditation practice. Meditation does not have to be long or difficult. I think people overthink it all the time. So you can go back and watch some of my previous videos about meditation if you would like, but it's very easy. Simply set a timer for 15 minutes each day to close your eyes, take deep cleansing breaths, and continue to bring your attention back to a single point of focus within your mind every time that it begins to wander. My third quick tip to connect with the Divine Feminine is to have a gratitude practice each and every day. And this is one you're not going to want to miss because connecting to gratitude every single day is like setting your radio frequency onto the good vibration. So all you have to do is sit down with yourself and make a list of 10 things that you're grateful for each and every day. And when you're done creating this list, simply read it back to yourself while feeling the feeling of gratitude and love. And at the end, just say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And my fourth quick tip to connect to the divine feminine is to get into water. Not only should you drink plenty of water each and every day, but you should make it a point to go get into a lake, a river, a stream, or the ocean every once in a while. So go visit the shore, or you can simply take a bath. And when you do these things and actually give yourself time to soak in the water, you're really connecting to that divine feminine energy and that emotional energy. And you're also cleansing your aura and adding all kinds of negative ions into your environment and your aura, which are actually very, very good for you. And my fifth quick tip to connect with the divine feminine energy is to practice a little moon magic. And not really magic, but what I'm trying to say is to get into alignment with the moon and her cycles. The moon is very symbolic for the feminine energy. So whether that means getting out at night during different moon cycles to really try to feel that moon energy, or it can mean you meditate during certain moon cycles, or 
It's simply by becoming in alignment with the moon and her cycles from the new moon through the waning and waxing moons to the full moons and really beginning to understand how you can use the moon's cycles to teach you a lesson in manifestation as well. And my sixth quick tip to connect with the divine feminine energy is to get out into nature. So just go outside, put your bare feet on the ground and actually feel the groundedness below you. Imagine yourself being plugged in to Mother Earth through the soles of your feet and feel her giving your loving energy right back up through your feet. And even just taking a walk, sitting down and taking deep breaths of that fresh air, or even just lying in the sun. Any way you want, just get outside every once in a while. Disconnect from that metaverse out there and actually put yourself into nature, into the true divine feminine energy. And my seventh and final tip on how to connect to the divine feminine is to practice compassion and forgiveness. It does no one any good to hold on to the burden of anger, shame, regret, or jealousy, or any of those lower vibrational energies. The true hell that people experience here in the physical world when they call it hell here is simply the product of their own thinking because earth and the divine feminine experience here can be heaven but it's all a matter of your own perspective and outlook so one of the best ways to kind of cultivate this heaven on earth is to practice compassion and forgiveness. And I've made a video in the past all about a practice called Ho'oponopono, and I highly recommend that practice for anyone out there who needs to bring themselves to a place of compassion and forgiveness for themselves or others. It is a receptive and divinely feminine universe that we are living in, at least from our third dimensional perspective. So the more that we can align with the divine feminine energies, then the better off our experience here on earth shall be. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. So if you like this video, be sure to click that like button and share this video with all your friends out there. And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, I would just love for you to click subscribe down below. And once you have subscribed, you can turn on that notifications bell if you would like to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.